Hello everyone, everyone. I am here for my review of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City Season 3 Episode 6. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Lady T. I like to do reviews on scripted reality shows, reality shows, and also the reactions. If you're returning, you're one of my peoples. Oh, welcome back. So we have a few comments from last video, so let's jump right on in. Queen Scarlet Pimp Sun Crest said it's a crown, a star. Prayer hands, all those things. Thank you, boo. And the next one is from also Queen Scarlet Pimp Sun Kiss. Lisa also started with Angie last season. Angie had receipts that Lisa having sabotaged the catering or something for Angie's event. Lisa really is having all the audacity. All the uh, nerve gall and that audacity. So thank boo hell for commenting. And so that's it with the comment. It said I have three, but two only popped up. So let's go ahead and get into this review. I mean Lisa Lisa be forgetting what she be doing sometimes. Hold oh, one dog on minute. Check. So, it seems as if I put all my comments from two different videos on the same thing and I got scared and thinking I didn't ring no... I thought my, thought my notes was lost. So let's go ahead and get... Okay, since Heather, Heather's stressed out, so she decides that she wants to start up a, a choir. And she's teaming up with her business partner, Dre. And Corey, he is a Southern Baptist, um, he's a director for a Southern, Southern Baptist church. Did that for 27 years. So she, she wants to get, she wants to start singing, you know, spiritual and non-spiritual songs. I'm like, okay, I guess, because like I used to sing in the church choir too. And when we was out during Panorama, I was no longer able to do that. So all my vocalization is not where it needs to be yet anymore. And your girl can't hold those notes like she used to. So I understand. I love a good song. I'm always singing. I was watch I know this ain't got nothing to do with the song, with the show, but I was watching Bondi, Bondi, Bondi Blues, um, Now That We Grown, uh, the Five Heart Beats. And when I tell you that is my favorite song, I'm not song, that is my favorite movie. And I knew all the songs and was singing along with it. So I understand, you know, the one to sing and everything. We moving over to Jen and Coach Child. They're having them like a non-traditional date at the trampoline park. And the inner kid in me would have loved that. But the grown and derner 40-year-old me, like, cannot do that. I would have been out of breath within five minutes. Like, when I was eight years old, jumping on the trampoline in my grandma's house was life for me and my brother. As soon as we would get to my grandma's house, we would go around, say hi to everybody. You know, you got to be polite. Then we would run into the backyard, take the little um, protection thing off the trampoline, and we would be on that trampoline jumping for hours. Like, didn't need to eat nothing, didn't need to drink nothing, didn't need to use the restroom, didn't need to do anything. We was just jumping on that trampoline for hours. I can't do that no more. But it looked like fun. But show, co uh, cho Jen tells Coach Shaw about this secret Instagram account. And she found that it was Angie Harrington's husband, Chris, who was behind it. She seems like more upset that it was called Shaw Exposed instead of Jen Shaw Exposed. Because when you say Shaw Exposed, that's disrespecting her whole family. She got this information from Lisa and I was like, Lisa, you got to take what she says with a grain of salt because you never know when it comes to Lisa. But it's kind of sort of seeming like Lisa may be true. But I'm like, girl, you was out here allegedly stealing from the elderly and the vulnerable people. If people going to talk about you, they're going to talk about you. And I really don't care. Because you was what? Stealing from the elderly and vulnerable people. Okay. Y'all know Whitney is stressed because um, everything she got going on in her life. But now, her husband, he done got fired. They just put a whole bunch of money into the relaunch of her like beauty skincare line situation that she got going on. 
So it's like, what we gonna do? Paying our bills, our kids in school, day activities, our lifestyle. Like, what we gonna do? And it seemed like they fired him because Whitney is a public figure. To me, it sounded like, oh, so you don't want to be a part of the Mormon religion no more. We gonna have to die on. Cause it seemed like she did that, uh, send that paperwork off last week, saying that she is, you know, no longer Mormon, and now her husband getting fired. But they talk about some is because like. I guess they're trying to say her when she and um, Justin was like doing that painting sex situation that, you know, it's against company policy. And I was like, what? I mean, I guess they are in Utah. So a lot of the companies may be um, run by people in a Mormon religion and they wasn't feeling that. But then it was like, OK, so now your wife want to get out of the religion. So we're going to take this out on you. And I was like, wow. I'm not saying that's what it happens, but that's like, it's it's kind of, it's kind of looking like that. And y'all tell me what y'all think. I don't know why Heather is so surprised that Lisa is no friend to her. Lisa is no friend to anybody. I don't know why that Whitney and Heather was so wanting Lisa to be their friends. Like this woman said you was a good time girl back in college. And she was saying that Whitney and her husband are swingers. And y'all just wanted so much to be this woman friend. And I, I just cannot understand why. She says when our dad, Heather says when her dad was in hospice, surrounded by his family, ready to lead his world, Lisa sent a text talking about something, I hope your dad feels better. It's like, she got that going on. And it's like, now her cousins are looking at her like, if this is the people, is this, if these are the type of people that you are hanging around with, and they're going to be out here saying some nasty mess. Like, it started out where she posted an obituary of Heather's father, I, father, I guess, on the anniversary in which he passed. And it's like, first of all, why would you do that? You ain't never met this man. And it's odd that you were posting this. And I guess that was her way of showing that she wasn't lying when she said she texted on this day and not on that day or whatever she texts. It was still weird to be tweeting somebody's father's um, obituary. That's just weird. But I'm like, Heather, what did you expect? This is Lisa. Lisa is a very nasty individual person. She really is. And I, I still don't know why y'all was so pressed to be this woman's friends. But, like, the cousins are like, these are the type, type of people you hanging around with. And they doing stuff like that about your daddy. I don't want I don't want no parts of that. I don't want them anything that happened that I didn't say that I didn't done. They hop, skip, and jump on up social media and do some mess like that. I was like, I completely understand. To me, I just think it's so funny that Lisa, she wants to portray herself as this, like, sophisticated woman, you know, who is of class. But then she will run over there to the Taco Bell and then go get her a 32-ounce fountain drink. I just think it's funny. Now, people like me who ain't got money like that will go to Taco Bell. Why well, don't be going to Taco Bell like that? I go to Taco Cabana because State Tortillas is on point. I don't know if Taco Cabana is everywhere, but it's here in Houston. And they used to have the shrimp tacos, which were mm, chef's kiss. They um, Chips and queso, yes. I would rather go to Taco Cabana than Taco Bell. But that's just me because I don't have money like Lisa Barlow. Because she's talking about some, go to some fine dining place or even Taco Bell. I was like, what are you? Like, you, you want to portray this sophisticated woman, but you, you going to Taco Bell with the regular, like us regular folk? Okay. What's that? Oh. Okay, where we at? So Meredith, Seth, Angie, and Chris, they go out for dinner because, you know, they trauma bonding because of Lisa. And Angie's like, I never said anything about Lisa performing sexual favors for jazz tickets. That's like, first of all, right? Point blank in a period. But she has discussed in the past with Whitney about there's rumors out here. And like a comment came up of like we was talking about certain certain dudes like oh yeah he did he um invested you know in to her vodka company but I ain't never said it had to do with um, sexual favors and I was like okay I could see where that happened and y'all talking at one point I was like yeah you 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 know you heard about Lisa like yeah she was out here doing something strange for a piece of change you know trying to get her company up and flow I was like yeah mm-hmm I seen such and such the other day oh that. 
Yeah, and didn't he um, invest in some of her company? And Whitney Park then got it mixed up, and now she didn't put it out there and assume that she said that that, that Lisa Slick would do so he can invest in her company when that's not really what happened. I can see that happening. Because when Lisa, when, what's her name? Lisa, not Lisa. What's her name? Heather. No, Whitney. When she was drunk. She just completely forgot that she was the one also talking about the rumor, but she wanted to put it on everybody else. I remember that. But Chris, he says that he was upset and his wife was getting attacked on social media, so he did make this fake account and he was attacking Lisa. Which, again, and we did not forget that last year, when Angie was trying to get her event together, she was already mad at Angie because Angie invited who? Whitney, which is her cousin, to an event. And shortly after that, um, Angie was trying to have an event and the caterer was like, no, I can't do that. And then Lisa, trying to cover her tracks, invited Whitney and Justin now. And the first thing the um, person who owns a restaurant, I can't believe Angie did that to you. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. I remember that. So y'all, that was the gist. If I left anything out about me, please leave a comment below. If you were new to my channel, welcome. Feel free to subscribe. It is free all day, every day, free 99. Make sure your notifications are on so when my beautiful face looks like a video. You can click on it, you can like it, and share it with your people. You can come over and be one of my peoples. If you're already one of my peoples, oh, welcome back. Y'all know what to do. Tell your people to tell their people to come over and be one of my peoples by clicking that icon above. This is Lady T signing off. Have a good one.